Hello everyone. I am Advait Italia. I am technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems Incorporation. I work for Cisco DNA Center team. Today, I want to show you how fast and easy it is to operationalize the Cisco DNA Center appliance using the Quick Start Overview workflow. As a network engineer or a systems admin, the first thing that you want to do after the installation is to operationalize the Cisco DNA Center which will be ready to get deployed in your production network as quickly as possible. This involves the discovery of network devices and the setup of telemetry and many other initial steps. Doing all this individually on per device basis takes a lot of time and effort. This is exactly the reason why Quick Start has been developed. By completing this, your Cisco DNA Center appliance will be able to discover the devices in your network fabric automatically. It will, it will create a site and it will associate those devices to this site and get the telemetry data, get the assurance data of your devices so that you will be ready to manage and troubleshoot your network without any major downtime as quickly as possible. There are some prerequisites for the quick start. We assume that you have already done the appropriate cabling, SIMC configuration, installation of the Cisco DNA Center appliance. So after completing the install, use the management IP address to log in to the web UI of the Cisco DNA Center for the first time. One important point to remember is Quick Start Workflow Wizard will only be available for you to configure just once after the fresh install. So be mindful of this. So before you start configuring the quick start, you will need following information about your network fabric and your devices. Log in using the admin credentials that you already set up at the time of install process. Make a note of all the network address ranges in which your network devices reside so that Cisco DNA Center can discover them automatically. Also provide the CLI credentials that are configured on the network devices so that Cisco DNA Center will be able to manage them. Also provide the SNMP credentials that are configured on the network devices. And then ultimately, you will be able to create a site and then Cisco DNA Center will associate all the devices that it has discovered to this site so that you can plan your network accordingly. So let's jump in the live demo where I will walk you through on how to perform all this task in the workflow. Here, we will use the management IP address of the Cisco DNA Center to go to the web UI and then use the password that we set at the time of install. Once we successfully log in, the first thing that it will ask is to change the password. We have to create a new password for the security purposes. After this, it will ask you to enter Cisco ID that is associated with the registration for software downloads and other communications. And then it will show you the terms and conditions page. Once you pass through it, it will show you a pop-up and then use the let's do it button to jump right into the quick start process. This step is the discovery step. Here, we will name the discovery job and then we will give the network address ranges that the DNA Center appliance will use to search and discover the network devices. You can specify up to five different ranges and then these discovered devices will be associated to the site that you will create in the later steps. Use the plus button to add the ranges and you can also have a preferred management IP address if you would like. Here, in this step, we will provide the credentials for the network devices like routers, switches, wireless access points. We will provide the credentials of different type like CLI, SNMP. Uh, we can also specify uh, five sets of these credentials. Um, we can specify the version of SNMP like version 2, version 3. Uh, we can specify the credentials for read and write. We can also specify the netconf port number that we are going to use. And once we do all of these, once we enter all the sets of credentials, Cisco DNA Center will use these credentials to configure and manage the devices that it discovers from our network. Here, we will use port number 830 as a netconf port. Moving on, we can go to the next step that is site creation. Here, you have an option to create a site and name it 
and then you can also name the building name of that site where the appliance is located and then you can specify the address where exactly is that situated and you'll notice that it will automatically suggest you the longitude, latitude, county and everything. Here you will have options to enable the telemetry for the device's health and the application health. Here you will have the option to view the summary of all the settings and configuration that DNS Center will use to complete the quick start workflow. You can also edit if you want to change anything before the process starts. Once ready, you can use the start discovery and telemetry button to start the process. So once the quick start overview workflow starts, it will take a fairly short amount of time, like few minutes, depending upon the size of the network to complete. We can use the hamburger menu over here to go into the tools and then the discovery. As you can see over here, we can view all the discoveries and over here you can see that it has taken the two ranges that we provided and it has discovered a few devices. One is the switch and other is the controller. Over here you can see that the status of each of the CLI, SNMP, NetConf, everything is green. So it is able to discover, it is able to verify the credentials and this is the status over here as completed. So that means the quick start wizard is complete right now. And so does the discovery. Now in the second step, you can go to the provision menu and go to the inventory. And over here, you will see that our newly created site San Jose, and then in the building 23, over here, you can see these two devices are associated with this San Jose site. Over here, it is managed, it is compliant. And now I can uh, do all the actions like uh, go to the device, action, software, image upgrade, telemetry and everything. Okay, so now you can go to the assurance tab and start managing the devices that are discovered. To get more information on how to do that, you can check out the assurance videos in the same series where we show in detail how to get and use the assurance data. Links are going to be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video about the quick start overview workflow. Here are some important links about the quick start documentation and also prerequisites that will be really helpful for the detailed reference. Also feel free to watch our official Cisco DNA Center YouTube channel where we are creating a short but insightful videos that our network admins and customers would love to see and to get them the quick answers with the live demo. Thank you so much.